Hi, Ezekiel. This is Ryan with TrendLizard.com again. I am taking a look at the SPX, which is the S&P 500 large cap index. Um, a lot of what we've done since 1996 has been based around our analysis of the S&P 500. So this is a good one for me to look at um, because I've traded it pretty much over the entire duration of the time that you see on this chart here, which dates back to 1991. So obviously this is a major stock market index and provides a very good gauge of the health of the stock market and the U.S. economy. So um, I, again, have very strong opinions about what's taken place over this time frame, and I will share those with you here. So um, the trend has been up, obviously, uh, over this course of time. Uh, the trend was up in a major way in the 90s. At that point, the uh, uptrend ended, a major uptrend ended, and a very large three-wave counter-trend pullback emerged that had the S&P 500 moving sideways for approximately a decade. Um, the financial fallout in 2008-2009 brought it to a low in 2009. I believe that was March. And since then, the S&P 500 has been in a very nice, strong advance that is not yet over. So this is the move that we've been trading and enjoying for a very long time. At no point in time have we lost a single trade trading the S&P 500 which we do uh, through SPY or Spiders, the ETF that uh, tracks the S&P 500. Um, but we haven't lost a single trade, so I'm very proud of that track record. Um, back on point here, we want to take a closer look at what, what's going on here to determine how far it might continue and uh, when these good long side opportunities might dissipate. And so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to zoom in on more proximate action here. Here we go. This is the action that we've seen since basically the start of 2014. Um, and the importance of this information here is it gives us a closer look at the advance that's taken place off the 2016 low. And that tells us or gives us a better idea of when this advance might end. First, uh, we can see from 2014 basically through the start of 2016, the S&P 500 had moved sideways. Since then, off the early 2016 low, S the S&P 500 has broken out and has resumed its uptrend. Uh, we know exactly what trendy moves should look like, and that's why we're able to for forecast where this guy is going to head overall. So any trendy move that ever plays out, according to El the Elliott Wave Theory, plays out in a five-wave form. So this advance off the 2016 loan is not yet over yet. Um, it still has some work to do. It's kind of subdividing, we call it, and has at least a few more major subdivisions that will take place before any type of major high can occur. So we remain very confident that the S&P 500 is still in a large uptrend that is not yet over. It would take a move below 2200 to indicate that a more important high is in. We don't foresee that happening anytime soon. So let's go ahead and zoom in again. Uh, this takes a look at the advance off the June 2016 low. Again, basically this just shows us another layer of the current advance and how it does not yet appear complete. Every up leg has been a trendy move. Every pullback has been a counter trend move. So all signs have continued to point higher. And I think as early as a couple sessions ago, or as recent as a couple sessions ago, the S&P 500 set a new all-time high. So everything continues to look up. Uh, as long as the S&P 500 stays above 2300 in the near term, we can remain bullish on essentially every time frame. It is possible that we'll see a larger pullback emerge off the late March high here. Um, but again, it's inconsequential and just a near-term detail. As long as it stays above 2300 in the near term, we can remain bullish and expect higher prices. So we track SPY every single day on TrendLizard.com, um, both in our newsletter and on our daily update. Um, so certainly uh, that is very applicable to this analysis. And uh, you can follow along and see exactly what kind of trades we're recommending as we're doing it. So one last thing, I'm going to zoom back out to the long-term long time frame. When this five-wave advance does complete off the 2009 low, a major high will take place. That is something we have to be aware of. It's something that may be a year or two away, um, but it is something that we will be tracking very closely. I would not recommend getting gun-shy or concerned about this major high at this point, uh, as you know, some of the biggest moves come late in the game, as happened in late uh, the late 1990s. Uh, a similar type move could play out here, 
So until there's some indication of a high, you have to remain bullish on the S&P 500. And everything that we look at says that there are higher prices still in the works before a major high comes. So I hope that's helpful. I have one more ETF to look at for you, and I'll do that in just a moment. Thanks.